Please be seated. Today is the last day of 2023. We want to reflect as we enter into the new year from Ephesians chapter 1 verse 3. He said, we are blessed with every spiritual blessing in the heavenly places. We are blessed with every spiritual blessing in the heavenly places. Yeshila yen ne isire nina sunsumi isire nina efi esro ojira mikla bogbomo pa yaira o kate akacho jifo that is what Paul told Ephesians, and that's what we're going to reflect on. God is a great provider. Do you know that? God is a great provider. Do you know that? Nyami ye nyami kesi aede oma ne manu yama. Na wonye mauga ke nana avya It's a provider. He's generous. He's ready to give his children things. Nyangu bo dawa humwa emri ni nasa ne ma obe momu ni yongu pe obe shawon. Now, what Jaro is shy, but you if you when we look at the Bible, certain figures like Abraham, Jacob, Joseph, David, Solomon, Job, among others, they were people that experienced God's favor and blessing. So, if these people have experienced that favor and blessing, are we exempted? Are we exempted? It means that we can also receive that favor. Is that not it? We can also receive the blessing. Amen. amen. If you believe you can receive that blessing, say amen to that. Amen. So, if you can receive this, then what is the blessing? What does it mean when one is said to be blessed? To be blessed has many connotations. It can apply to many things. can be applied to many things different things, uh, and different people have different interpretation to it. To some people, to be blessed means you are fortunate. You are lucky. You have been favored by God. Your stars uh, have shone on you. You have found favor. That's what the, 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 the angel came to say. He merely full of grace. The Lord is full of grace. Blessed are you. I mean, you are blessed. You are favored among me. That's what he told Mary. So, blessing is not lucky. Eh? It is God's favor. God's own something special that he gives to her. In Shira, a yonyan kupon akasa na chedie ne mubru hum then I do ye ah or dear or the man. Ya ira nya mount of fur among vung de ka u jina be a konamu bato you konanami a you yanami tafoyama a fiamma gemi dream miaku mawfe ya irao a fear because you see a so nyan kupon ni sila na wasen wasi a wasuro soon sumish and yebese ye pijan ye ye sum ne de ne a chi ne de ne basa sis ni nya yan sankebi. That's what we want to do in twenty 24. The blessing, where does it come from? Scripture tells us in Genesis chapter 12, verse 1 the blessing comes from God. If you that blessings come from whom? God. If you want her, if you want her, yes, blessings come from God. Genesis chapter 12. Verse 1 to 3. Where does blessing start? And maybe na Yishira Eshi has here. Gakami Yaira Janagomo. Everything that starts somewhere has a beginning somewhere. It starts from somewhere. Blessings start from the very beginning of creation. In the creation story, said, God did that and he saw that it was going to the Lord war. Bless it. He blessed things and he blessed human beings. When God finished creating things on this earth, in Genesis chapter 1, verse 21 to 22, so when God had finished 
the things he has created it was nice to behold and the lord said a blessing over it god created the great monsters of the sea and all creatures that move and with which the waters themed according to their kinds and every kind of them winged bed each according to his kind god saw that it was good god blessed them saying be fruitful and increase in number you see what god is saying god bless it so when we take the same Genesis chapter 1 verse 28 when God from 27 so God created man in his image in the likeness of God he created him male and female he created them God blessed them God blessed them that when God created from the beginning, when God made man, he did what? He blessed him. So the time your mother conceived you in your womb, God has blessed you. Emra na uda oma miyene nyangwai de we shall. That's what he said there. Before the foundation of this earth, the efficient text that we read, for them, he said, before the foundation of God chose us, he predestined us for what? For his blessing. So we are blessed people. You are blessed. Do you know that? Yeshira here. When you come to Yeshira, and Yeshira no, and na yepese afia ibi yedebe nanti na yensaso. Wa kano. And then I make us all yes, so a radin and la car, my way blooming you blomolo, my be a mia iraga. It is not me who is saying he said God himself who is saying that he will bless you. He said he will bless you and you become a blessing to somebody. Obe Shirai Ampara Bebemu iradewa ampare wakasu obesirao. God said He will bless you, and the coming year, 2024, is your year of blessing. Erate wa kadu Yes God has said it and it shall come to do to pass Mangwegbli e ye ever vaga nyatapaha he said, we have all been blessed with every spiritual blessing in the heavenly places. The thing is there. It's not now that it's going to be produced. It is there. Ours is to to tap into it and bring it down. As we say, our hope, our soul, our nature, but I see a shirt there, a best sunny, neither a big wheel. So, a legiafo, Mauba Yaira, a legiafo. 
bobo mo fe ya ira kata ali tas bo mi ajagba mi afashi na ke ni mi na wo deliver ni ba no nka wo kore mi aji we have to look for means to let that blessing that have been stored there in the heavenly places descend and war and fall on us he said he has blessed that's what the text says it's not my words Paul was writing to the Ephesians and he told them that this God has blessed her with every. He didn't say some. I said, "Wan kasi o nyangupo isre ni isre ni biosi isre ni nina mu baba yaira adolo oba yaira onka kata all the blessings, all the blessings that you can think of. So it is there for us to pick, and we have to look for means. I've listed twelve. 12 ways, 12 steps that when we follow in the coming year we can tap into the blessings that are in store in the heavenly places for us. 12. 12 months make a year. So every man, one. And 12 of them, every month, if you take one, oh, you get that blessing. Second month, January, February, month, every month. You take one. 12. So every month, we take one. So we're going to look at the 12. The first one is to ask. The blessing is there. But you have to ask. God knows that it is there. But he said well, we should ask. Matthew 7, 7. He said oh, ask and you shall do all. Well. Knock and you do all. Well. Search and you do all. Well.
of sowing and reaping. Simply put, if you want to reap blessings, we have to sow in blessings. Choose to be a blessing to others and see how God's blessings will come on you. Amen. Amen. Then the seventh point, bless those who curse you. Matthew 5 11, the gospel we had. Matthew 5 said, bless those who curse you. Open my coffee for work at the wall. Now, God, now you know, God said, the person who cares you do bless the person. Can we do it? Let me read somebody who did some. King David, David, eh? Second Samuel, Second Samuel chapter 16, verse 5 to 14. Let me read excerpts of it. I was touched by certain things I saw there. Second Samuel chapter 16, verse 5 to 14. And I read, When King David came to Barum, a man from the clan of Saul's family, named Shimhai, son of God, came out cursing him. He threw stones at David and his officers, although the king's men and warriors flung the king on his right and on his left. Shemi said, as he cursed, go away, go away, you bloodthirsty rogue. The Lord has brought down on you. The Lord has brought down on your head all the blood of the family of Saul. You became king in his place, but God has now placed the kingdom in his hands, of, in the hands of your son, Absalom. Ruin, ruin has come upon you because you are a bloodthirsty man. Then Abishai, son of Zeruah, said to the king, Why should this dead dog curse my lord the king? Let me go over and cut off his head. But the king said, Why should I listen to you, sons of Zeruah? 
if the Lord has ordered him to curse David, who can ask him, why do you act like this? Then David said to Abishai and his officers, if my own son wants to kill me, how much more these Benjaminites? Leave him alone and let him curse me if the Lord has ordained him to do that. Perhaps the Lord will look on my affliction and turn to good the curses he on me today. Amen. And truly God did it. He said, don't retaliate the evil plans they have for you. The curse, he said, pray for them. For God will take it. I like that. He said, who knows if God has ordained it. If God will turn it around and be a blessing for me. And that's what God will do for us next year. If we don't curse those who curse us back. Those who plan evil for us. If we don't reply them back. The Lord will turn it out for our good. Amen. Amen. What the enemy meant for evil. Yeah, God has sent it around, turn it around. What the enemy meant for evil, yeah, God has sent it around for your good. What enemy, what the enemy, sing it to somebody here, to go be as to tell somebody. That whatever the enemy will mean for evil in your life, in the coming year, the Lord will turn it around. The disgrace that somebody is planning for you, the Lord will turn it around. Will turn the curses into blessing. He will turn every evil somebody has about you into good. It is His word. What is enemy meant for evil? Yeah, God will turn it. Yeah, he will turn it. Tara, what the enemy meant for evil. Yeah, God will turn it around for your good. Turn to somebody and tell the person what the enemy will mean for evil for you next year, the Lord will turn it around for you. Tell somebody, catch you will be saying, some or town followers will say, God will turn it around to be a blessing. Amen. God will turn it around to be a blessing. Amen. All that the enemy, those who would like you to be demoted, God will turn their plan to be a promotion. God will turn their demotion plan to be a, to be promotion. God will turn your loss of business into profit. Amen. God will turn the ill health they have for you to be good health. Amen. And Jesus will raise his hand upon you. Amen. And you will see his blessing. Amen. We are serving a living God. Amen. Amen. It's a year of war. Blessing. Then uh, the eighth point. He said, honor your parents. Today we heard it in there. He said, honor your parents. You see, it is the only law with all with a promise honor he said and your life will prolong it's a blessing that is there for you your life will be prolonged so when you honor them what happens then the blessing of long life with war will come or see dude ma when you saw honor and we chat see the be a one kwa be there a better to us as so a quantity no ede a woho nenso and sana on sabe kano or so ede uye bibi ma ubadi na dabu bu juo launchi eje wakba na wanka ajiji akba jiji ali lo ali kakayafi wa shina kenke nozbe na wo asba na dabu bu juo launchi tafe ya miyoka miyoka na miyapa jida wo lo no yomya miyoka miyoka ne miyoka oba upo miyoka kana miko miyoka kaba some of us, when our parents call us, then we put off the phone. We cut, oh, Emma, her network, no, her no, and your baby, I'm in Gino, network, and your papa. Yes, Sakra, I fear be 
Se be se on sa ka ishira na eh yen fe bu mo mo those of us who are young the young one let's respect our parents be obedient to them so that they will bless you eh they will bless you they tell you nyami shira o me ba nyami shira o i have an auntie she's old she love one of my cousin if i'm able to call her and i sense her she father god bless you god bless everything and i claim it is when you, you respect people and they bless you you claim it it is god that is blessing you through them so let's let you respect them and the blessings shall be ours amen, amen. then the, the ninth point is to be like christ to be like christ the best way to be like christ is to be simple philippians 2 5 to 11 tells us though he was in the form of god jesus did not work count equality with god he humbled himself and became a servant he became a servant like you and i and because of that the lord lifted him yes you know christ Simple life. Jesus was rich. Was rich in so many. But he said he humbled himself in that simplicity of life. If you want to receive God's blessing, you have to learn to be what? To be simple. And when you are simple, the Lord, he said what? Because Jesus humbled himself, the Lord lifted what? The Lord lifted what? He lifted him high. So that at the name of Jesus, every knee will do what? Every knee will bow. And every tongue will do what? Will confess. Every knee shall bow. Yeah. Every tongue shall confess that Jesus Christ is Lord. He is Lord. Every knee, every knee shall bow. Every tongue shall confess that Jesus Christ is Lord. He is Lord. Good. Inara, echo to do. Nate tremenina, bekase, irate, oh you ra, oh you ra. The same thing will happen to you if you live a simple life. The Lord would tend that simple life. To a greater things for you that's all that the lord is asking he'll say live a simplicity of life and he will turn the simplicity of life into something great for you amen, amen. then the third the tenth thing is what to ask for forgiveness ask for forgiveness i see but if you are in a bit missy, shan't quite name you cho. I'm off on Vopa, Vota Dauko, and I'm a Dimitro, come on, Mumunyana, Mohammunami, Mauha Yamativana. So, nothing to ask for God's forgiveness. And also, those who ask you for forgiveness, Psalm 32, verse 1. When you read there, you will find it. Then, point number 11 seek the God of the blessings. Seek the God of the blessing, not the blessing. She shall yamina o me israno, and ye israno, Jimau ya canana yaira, many yaira. Many of us we look for the blessing, but we forget the God who makes the blessings. Amen. One priest, I don't know which country you said that some of us we go, we say we go to see the man of God, forgetting the God of the man. We depend on the man of God. But we, de we don't depend on the God of the man. The man of God is there because the God of the man existed first. Amen. 
are looking for the blessing. But we are not looking for the God who gives them. Some of us are chasing miracles. Miracles. We are chasing miracles. We forget the God of the miracle. The miracle don't happen by themselves. So it is somebody who orchestrates it. It's somebody who makes it happen. So when you seek the God who makes the miracle work, then you get the miracle. So when you chase miracle, when the miracle don't come again, then you lose faith. But if you chase the God of the miracle, if the miracle doesn't come, that God is still there because he never passes away. He lives forever. Amen. Amen. So let's, they come in here, let's learn to chase after God who gives the blessing. And when we know the God of the blessing, the blessing will come our way. Amen. That is it. Let us not after the blessing. Run after the God who does all, who gives the blessing. Amen. Was that the 11th one? Okay, the 12th one can be found in Genesis 4 and Luke chapter 21. Give your best to God from your heart. Give your best. The Genesis 4 talk about Cain and Abel sacrifice. Cain, you know, used anything at all. Abel used the best of his. And God received his offering. And God blessed him. The woman, the poor widow, she just said, look into all people giving. And so this woman gave from her, her heart. Her heart, not her surplus. Her heart. And that touched God's heart. You know, when you give your best from your heart, God's heart is moved and he blesses you. So let's make the coming year. Let's give the best of us and the best of our time. The best of what we think we have. And when we give it to God and God uses it, he will bless us. When you read Luke chapter 5, when Jesus met Peter, he said, give me the boat. He sat in it. He used it for himself. When he finished, he said, cast the net. What happened? The blessings were plenty. After he had given him. So when you give it to God and God uses it, God will do all, will bless you. So these are the five, the 12 steps for 2024. If you follow them diligently, take one. One in a month. Eh? When you go to hospital, they give you prescription. Eh? They give you the dates. Take this one in the morning for how many weeks? Three weeks. And you'll be well. So if you take the tablets I've given you, 12 tablets for blessing, 2024. One for a month. And the blessing by a year by this time, you come and give testimony to the glory of God. Amen. You will come and give all testimony to all to the glory of God. Amen. Amen. God has promised you give us the blessing. But then, there are certain things also who can become obstacles to this blessing. We have 12 things. 12 things that will block our blessings for coming. This one, I'm going to be short, brief, to the point. The first one, that obstacle that will block us from giving is laziness. If you are lazy, God will not bless you. In Genesis chapter 1, verse 20, they said, God for money, blessed her, and he gave us a multiply till the land and multiply it. So when you multiply your work, if you work, God will bless your work. If you don't work, the blessing will not come. Amen. So when you are Number one, Yairama Mava Vago, You see, small, small things. 
you do it, then God will rule, will bless you. But if you are lazy, you are sitting, you are praying alone, it will not work. When you pursue Israel, don't say that. Or say you juma akwajo and find that Israel that Emma. Eh? So let's take that. But laziness. 2024, no laziness. Proverbs 14, Proverbs 10:4. It says, "Lazy hands make poverty. Lazy hands do what makes what poverty." So let your hands not be lazy. Work so that the Lord will bless you. Amen. Amen. Then point number two. Let go of past head. When you don't let go of past heads, they will block God's blessings. Eh? Never verse a sadol, my number now, Joe. I'm a her no way. I say, Oh, y'all be to Muna, man, and qua. A senior will be more mama or y'all at it. So, head has entangled them, it has tied them, so they are not free. God's blessings cannot come. You have to let go so that God's blessings can come your way. Amen. Amen. Point three, blockade number three. When you are cruel, Jesus was very friendly. If we treat people well, we don't treat them evilly, we treat them well, God's blessing will come away. Nemi Tama Sama Munchia, Mopo Yamati Vavago. She put to Modin, one month for Yankupo Israel, and to be by Yakuimo, to me and Shannon soon. The fourth one, the fourth block is what? It's pride. Pride, pride, pride. I'm a masso. Da 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 da. Ne nyama ne dana. Mau ko ya irama va vagena o. Mau mo jina mo yoko dano. God does not like those who are proud. If you are proud, God's blessing will not come to you. Humility is very important to be humble. So let's try in the coming year to do away with all pride. Psalm one hundred and thirty-eight verse six, Proverbs eight thirteen. And Isaiah 2, 12, James 4, 6, all talks about pride. That if you are not humble and we let pride take over, our blessings will be blocked. Then the obstacle number five, be positive. Some people are pessimists. Numbers chapter 13, verse 25 to 33. Numbers 13, 25 to 33. This talk about when the spies went to Jericho, they went to see the land. Some people say, oh, hey, let's not venture out this way. They will kill us. They keep vision. This thing, it will not work. It will not work. There are some people, the God open opportunities for them to progress, to bring blessing. But they are so pessimistic that they don't think anything positive. They are content. They are satisfied. Eh? And they we have to change that idea. Don't be pessimistic. Big like Caleb and the rest. Who stood the ground? Say, look, it is not to Moses. We can conquer. Say, Joshua, we can conquer it. Don't work with people who are pessimistic. People who those who don't think positive and they kill vision. Know your friends. Some people you share certain idea with them. Oh, they think you do not succeed. They're killing your vision. 2024, if you walk and you share with people who kill vision, your blessings will not come. And if you don't leave their company, they will transmit that ideology to you and you will lose your blessing. Amen. Amen. But God forbids that. Then, point number six lack of faith. If you don't have faith, so we need you there. Point number seven. Pursuing what is not yours. Pursuing what is not for you. Pursue things that are for you. That is the when you do that, it becomes an obstacle and God will not bless you. So, 2024, pursue things that are for you. Not those that are not for you. Then number eight, if you do not forgive, I said it earlier on, if you do not forgive, so far by name, cha, it me see, it's wrong. Number 10, you will come more. Point numbers, obstacle number nine. 
when you run away from God's calling, like Jonah, eh? God can call you to do something. If you run away from God's calling, God will lay on your heart. I want you to do this for me. I want you to do this. I want you to go to the seminary. I want you to go to the convent. <laughs> Francis, are you going? <laughs> or Charlotte, after protest, you go. Eh? When God calls you Jonah and you run away, my brother, God will never bless you. Nase, wa friend of friend, wa 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 intia isha no mshanga. Intia fibu, ni ya bafu friend. Say yema ni biya ye. Whatever God will call you to do, do it, and the blessings will be yours. Let us not run away. Then ten, ungratefulness. When you are ungrateful, some people, you know, God does things so that they are never grateful. The small small thing. Yema kete kete ni ami yema no. Osi eso yeni. Ibu hau yeni yema eso mani. Muni yema eso yeni. Mina muna jemiangu ni mi atakpa na maula ta. Nene akpa damla maula ngu hivyo ta. Yu munga ho waga nao. Vile kelia 11. If you are not a giver. Proverbs 19.17 says. Whoever is kind to the poor lends to the Lord. And you reward them for what they have done. Eh? If you, you are a giver. If you are not a giver, some people they don't give. If you don't give, you don't receive. So coming here, learn to give. If you learn to give, God will give you in return. Amen. Amen. Then the 12th one, the 12th obstacle is when you continue to sin against God, it's become an obstacle. By the coming year, the Lord wants to bless us. He said, I've blessed you with every blessing war in the spiritual realm. Or say, Israel, I was ruining our head there, or the Israel. But Yaira or college, I woke at Ayakonka, Ekonyami, Maujibe, Yapashina Ki, Lepayama, Apoya Banama, a Jarobe, Yashina Ki Maha. Are you ready to receive that blessing in 2024? Are you ready? Are you ready? Then let's be on our feet. Let's be on our feet and call on the God. Let's call on God to be on up. Yabo Shiraya Yabo Sandia Wasemdia 